The Sacre du Brenton, The Rite of Spring, is a very, very challenging piece, not just for the orchestra, but for the conductor as well. I remember, you know, the piece I already came upon, um, you know, when I was very young, actually in the first school concerts I've been to, when, when I was around eight, or eight years old. And the, the part, it was, you know, the, the that, that, that music was already a shock as a child you know, when I heard it first time. And of course, in the Fantasia from Disney, that's where I also, you know, got the music. And when you look at the score, when I finally looked at the score when I was a graduate student um, in conducting, it, it was daunting. And, and now I understand why it's always on some auditions for conductors because the way that, that you know, Stravinsky writes the music, the, the rhythm, it's really what is striving the piece, but then also the, the meter. What you're beating sometimes is not the, what the music is. The music's actually, you know, sometimes you think there should be no bar line um, because you know, of how Stravinsky constructed the piece. So for the conductor to hold it together and then for the orchestra to, to, to play it and while you know it's not just one rhythm, sometimes he put you know layers of rhythms together, um, and you have to hold on to what you your yourself you know the, your rhythm. It's it's very challenging, um, but I look forward to that very much to work it out with the orchestra because it, in the end you know when when you get it all right, when you get all the layers and and the melodies, the colors, is a piece that still is shocking. Back when it was in the premiere, it is still shocking now.